What's going on, folks? Welcome back to the channel, the 11th of May. Taking a look this morning at XRP slash USD. Daily chart, Bitstamp will be our data provider here. Taking a look here this morning as XRP continues to move lower in price. Red candles down 1.66%. Bitcoin just hanging on by a thread, guys. We'll take a look at that briefly. Let's actually take a look at that real quick, get that over with. We'll come back to XRP, Ripple XRP. So here is Bitcoin, guys. In the last video, we discussed this level right here. So you could see the volatility that came in the market yesterday, you know, whipsawing up and down, putting in some new recent lows. And then let me zoom in here and then just barely hanging on today. So we have a pretty decent looking topping pattern here for Bitcoin. And you can see yesterday we put in a new lower low. So really testing the waters here. And um, what I'm afraid of is a pretty good uh, pull the plug kind of move here for Bitcoin. Definitely, if that takes place down to the 26, 25, 7 area, which are these two lines on my chart, and potentially even down into this area, which was the old resistance. So that puts us down into the basically $25,000 mark. So far, we're finding support. But I mean, yesterday, barely hanging on. So really getting back above 28,249 would give me that confidence that Bitcoin, okay, maybe it's going to head higher. But right now, it's flirting with some dangerous price levels, and that is not good for the rest of the market. So just be on high alert for any, pretty much anything, and that's my thoughts on Bitcoin right now. So why you're here is for XRP. We'll take a zoom in on XRP, and then we'll take a zoom out. Guys, welcome to the channel. Appreciate it. All of the 2170, I believe it is, or so subscribers, quite a bit of people. Thanks for stopping by, checking out the videos. So XRP has been in a very smooth and orderly downtrend here. So we have a higher low that took place, wedge up to a lower high, pull back, lower low, lower high, and then Nice, nice sell-off to another lower low that took place on the 8th of May. That area stopped at an important area that we were talking about. If you go back to some, if you go back before this move took place, we were saying that we had a level at 43.630, which is a pink line on the chart. And we had a level at 41.680. 43.630 did not hold. We pulled back to our 41.680. And you could see candle wick on the 8th, candle wick on the 10th, which was yesterday. Today, we're starting to move lower once again. So we have found support there. And that's what the price should do. And it did do. What we don't know is how long that will hold as support. That could be our bottom. That could just be our bottom for those couple days. We could keep retesting it and then bounce, but we were pretty convinced that the price was going to get down there and at least have a reaction, and that reaction was to the upside. Let me go to the three minute, and then we'll come back to that daily chart. So you can see here is our double test of that 41.680 price, right at our pink line, pulled right to it, up, pulled right to it and now we're wedging down we're actually wedging down on the three minute which leads me to believe that maybe we see a little bit of a higher move today maybe getting us back above 43 410 but patience so back to the daily and taking a look here so it's nice to see so far, two solid tests, two big candle wicks below the 41.680 level. Guys, that correlates pretty important over here. So it was old support back in September of 22. It was resistance in November of 22. 
It also represents the top end of this, this wedge here that was in January of 23 that actually broke out to the upside and it's getting back tested. So it's definitely an important area and it should hold. We don't know how long it'll hold, but it's holding for now as it should. And I always say like the levels below the market that I have on my screen are support areas for a period of time. Since these are not the lowest levels I have, there's no guarantee that these are going to hold for much longer than a couple days, could be a couple hours, but right now they are holding. If the price, which is what I'm concerned and what I think is probably going to happen, especially if Bitcoin, if they pull the Bitcoin plug and it heads down lower, that we're actually going to see a strong break once again, guys, for XRP. Now, there's a couple stopping points I have. I have one at 40. I have one at 38,760, 37,620. But more than likely, I think getting back down to this white support line that's running up on an angle on my chart. So give or take when that takes place, if it took place today, for example, that price would roughly put us at that 37,620 area. Obviously, if it took place in a couple days, that would be a higher price. It would be up in here. So we don't quite know exactly, but what I can say is I have a 37,620, a 38,760. Those are both potential support areas below the market. So that's the short-term zoomed in look at XRP. We're finding nice support right now, two nice tests Two nice candle wicks at the 41,680, this level right here. We talked about that. Go back to when XRP was trading up here. I said there's a chance that XRP trades down to 41,680 and finds support for a period of time. Well, that period of time and that support has shown up. And now we, we wait and see if, if it's going to hold for any longer than so far. Today, today would be the fourth day above that. If we zoom out, guys, this is where things get a little dicey, and it really depends on how far they, they want to push Bitcoin to the downside. So if we can zoom out here, we have, and this is, you know, nobody wants to hear this, of course, especially if you're a bull on XRP. We have all of this support here multiple times took place. And if you look at the chart, we are approaching that white line once again, guys. More than likely it holds. There's a chance it doesn't hold and the price breaks lower and breaks lower very, very strong. The volatility that we saw over here on the SEC, I believe it was in the SEC lawsuit back in 2021, 2020, major, major volatility. You know, we were up at the 60s and we had headed all the way down to the basically 17 cent range, you know, basically within a couple days, not much longer than that. So the XRP can, can and when it does move, can move and cover a lot of price very, very fast. So if XRP breaks below this white line here, essentially, the white line's not in a permanent place, you know, give or take a little bit, but you could see all of the support we have had there. We could see a very vicious drop for XRP. You could see XRP down at the well, my first level would be give or take the 29 to 30 cent. And then next below that would be like 20, 26, 7, 26, 9, 80, give or take. So that would look something like within here or within here. And then there's also the chance that we head back down to that 18.9 level, I have a price target, a price potential price support area 
down in there. I don't think the price would go much lower than that if the price even gets down to that low. But there is a chance and right now it doesn't look good. I hope I'm wrong guys and I hope the price finds support right where it's at right now which we called the 41680. But if things start to get ugly again for Bitcoin, there's a good chance XRP is not going to buck that trend and start to rally back up into that, taking out those highs over here and then ultimately moving back up into this dollar plus, maybe even testing this high. I don't think that's going to happen, especially if Bitcoin breaks lower. The, the scale is weighed right now more towards lower prices to come than higher prices. Now, if we get some kind of an SEC lawsuit, you know, settlement determination that's been going on for years now, of course, any kind of news catalyst could make the price do whatever it's going to do. Maybe you get a big move down and then the price rockets higher. Some kind of a whipsaw event. Anything's possible. Just leave that open in your mind. But right now, the price is aren't looking too hot and like i said i hope i'm wrong so we'll we'll see what happens but i think the if these lows don't hold at our 41 680 there's a good chance we're heading back down to basically this white line that's running basically on a 45 degree angle on my chart and that is give or take right around the let's see 37 38 cent mark depending on when the price and if the price gets down there and then from there I, ideally you want to see that hold you can see it held all of these times over in here and when we got when we got a break right here on the 2nd of january it was a big big volatile move to the downside which essentially closed higher and then the price can move up again so when we break that when we break those important levels of support, the price can drop very, very fast. And sometimes it gets bought up. Sometimes it doesn't. So that's my thoughts, guys, on XRP. I would just, you know, prepare for anything right now. The, the Bitcoin chart does not look too good. And, you know, I hope it does find support and moves higher. But right now, like I said, I think the scale is weighed more towards the lower price side than the higher prices to come. So just be careful out there. Of course, not financial advice, guys. So far, we're finding support at 41,680, which I called not too long ago, but we don't know how long that will hold. We have a nice um, wave structure down here, pretty orderly, um, but we'll have to see. So just wanted to put this out and just be careful out there. It's been a while since we've seen some vicious volatile moves in XRP. And if Bitcoin drops, like I said, let's take a look at the chart real quick before we wrap this video up. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. If Bitcoin gets that vicious drop, that could be an excuse for the XRP whales to put in a massive candle wick to the downside hitting stops scaring investors call it what you will um but yeah definitely multiple maybe double digit percent moves for bitcoin to the downside will will do some damage to say the least on xrp and the rest of the market something like that could easily take xrp from 42 cents and back down here to that 38 37 cents within one candle not a problem at all and that will raise some eyebrows and definitely raise some fear. That would basically be a 7 to 10% move lower if something like that took place for Bitcoin. All right, guys. Well, if you're a dollar cost averaging investor, you can dollar cost average into XRP if something like that happens. And hey, I'm an XRP bull. I hope something like this takes place and we start to rocket higher. You let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. You have a good one. And always do your financial research. You guys take care.